one year ago at this time, where was Pat Arbor and what were you doing? And I, I assume it was a much different life. Oh, of course, yeah. I lived in Lugano, Lugano, Switzerland. I had a nice condominium there, one bedroom, nothing grand. My porch was beautiful, it faced south. I looked over Lago Lugano, beautiful mountains, verdant sloping trees down to the beautiful blue sea, lake. They call it a sea, but I call it a lake. Snow-capped mountains in the distance. San Salvatore, which I used to trek up quite a bit, in Mont Bray on the left. My schedule here basically is <laughs> about 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock, they wake you up for medication with a sharp metallic ring on the door, and you kind of wake up, and, and you, uh, and you uh, take your medication. Generally, I can go back to sleep for a little bit. It's, at least where I am, it's quiet. It's, I'm able to sleep most of the time. I awaken around eight or nine o'clock, and the first thing I do, because I was raised at Mercy Boys Home when I was a kid, I had, I make my bed. After I complete my, my breakfast, I generally do some reading. I read a lot. I read most of the time during the day. If I'm let out, it's late in the day on the, the late shift, the, uh, the 3 to 11 shift. And then in the day room, I try to walk as much as I can. And there's a TV, so I try to watch TV as much as I can. And then I'm back in my cell, and I read a little bit, and go to bed, and think, and, and, and atrophy and waste away and languish.